Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another exclusive. Before we get into the exclusive, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. It is getting messy. And I just did not have that energy yesterday to make another video. But as we saw yesterday, Megan and the baby got into it on Twitter. And then Party came in and Kelsey inserted herself for no reason. Um, and what I got back was that Megan is pretty upset at everybody. One, she's upset at Nikki, you know, because Nikki liked the the baby post about the song, so she's annoyed about that. Okay, I think Nikki was just being petty, you know, it wasn't supposed to be anything too deep. She was just being petty. Um, but I guess Megan saw her like the post and we all know that Megan still follows Nikki as of right now. Okay. Um, and like I said before, that's all strategic, but she saw that Nikki liked the post because she's following Nikki, and I saw that Nikki did like the post because I'm following Nikki too, okay? And she's also, or she was, following the baby. So she's annoyed about that, and that's why Party was saying how women and men are corny. That's what I got back. That's why he was saying women and men are corny. He was talking about the women in the comments, Sticking up for Tori and also Nikki because Nikki liked the post. Now, I feel like that's not fair for Nikki because it's like she could like a post. I mean, maybe she thought the song was hot. I think I listened to the song. I watched the video and I think it's one of Tori's better records. But it's not, you know, it's not something that I would listen to every single day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a big Tori Lands fan anyway. OK, um, and she believes that the baby liked that tweet on purpose, OK, because of her unfollowing him. So she believes that he did it on purpose and that he wasn't hacked. You know, he gave that story that he was hacked and then he tried to delete it. It was up for a while now. Like I kept going back to look to check. OK, and it was up. So my guess is, you know, he didn't realize that the blogs were picking it up because I, I posted it right away when people were sending it to me. I was like, I know he did not just retweet that. And I even said that's very problematic. And, you know, he left it up. And then once he realized that people were saying negative things, that's when he tried to delete it. Um, you know, so he gave off that story, but Megan thinks that story is complete BS and you saw how she called him out for lying. And I said that in my exclusive this week, that that's not what he told her behind the scenes. Like I said before, he told Megan that he didn't really mess with Tori and the record wasn't going to get cleared. That's why she said, Oh, that record is not getting cleared. If she knew that the record was getting cleared, she wouldn't have uh, said that. Okay. And then after it gets cleared, you know, he told her that he wasn't going to promote the record. And what does he end up doing? Promoting the record. <laughs> and so I basically told y'all before this even happened that he lied to her. For whatever reason, he didn't come clean. I don't know why. But I feel, uh, I feel like, you know, it has a lot to do with her connections, the Rock Nation. Because why would you feel the need to lie to her about doing an another record with Tory Lanez? You know what I'm saying? Also, I got back that a lot of people in the industry, not the general public, people, her peers don't believe her. Okay. They don't believe, you know, that Tori harmed her. I don't know what Tori is telling people. If he got evidence of some sort that he's just not bringing to the general public. But a lot of people believe that she is lying. Okay. Now, I'm not saying she's lying. I'm not saying that she's lying. I think this probably was a very traumatic experience for Megan. But a lot of people think that she's lying. That's one of the reasons... 
that Michael B. Jordan did not want to come out and date Megan Thee Stallion because they were supposed to be a PR relationship. Because a lot of people think that she's lying and that, you know, she don't really know what happened. Okay? Because Kelsey is telling people behind the scenes that she's not telling the truth. Tori Lanez is telling people that she's not really telling the truth. And they were both in the car. And mind you, she also fell out with uh, Kylie. Even though Kylie wasn't on the scene. You know, I, who knows what Kylie's telling people. Because, you know, they fell out. Kylie was following her on Instagram. They were following each other. Then after the incident, they unfollow each other. Okay? And, you know, she tried to say, oh, Kylie's cute, um, you know, for the WAP video. But she really don't like Kylie. From what I was told. And then Tori tried to be petty and call her like uh, an angel or something like that. But Megan is very upset at Nikki, Tori, and the baby. And I've heard that she will definitely be throwing shots and music. Okay? Anybody can get it. Okay? I hope it's nothing like that record that she put out on Friday, though. I don't I don't think she should do a different type of record if she's going to be throwing shots. I'm on the same page as Camel Things. But she's definitely going to put it in the music. Her team has advised her that it's better to put stuff in the music than, you know, go back and forth on Twitter. Just put it in the music. And that's why in good news, she had that record, Shots Fired. Okay? They said that it's a better thing to do than go back and forth or, you know, call out somebody on social media. Okay? And Tory Lanez needs to stop bragging about his YouTube videos. He bragging that is number one trending in music on YouTube. You better stop that. Okay? Because, you know, those numbers could easily be fudged. He needs to, when he has an achievement, you got to be quiet about it because you never know what Megan's team, a.k.a. Rock Nation, is up to. So he needs to be quiet and stop bragging about that because that does not mean, just because it's number one on YouTube, that doesn't mean it's going to chart high on Billboard. And that's what's really important. So, let me know what you guys think. Is Nikki wrong for liking the post? Should Megan be upset about that? Should she be upset at the baby? Okay. And she's always going to have resentment towards Tori. So, I'm not even going to ask about that. But should she be upset at Nikki and the baby? And did you also peep how when Polo G went number one, she shouted out the, um, the baby? Okay. Because I peeped that too. So, you know, Nikki just being petty, I think. I don't think she's really looking that deep into it. I think she's just being petty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. And have a great day. Happy Father's Day.